Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. Today with Nike wafers. Yeah, waifus and sugar getting the, the good diabetes. But before we go into the box, I want to take first a quick look into this. Uh, this is the new volume or comic special for Nike uh, in Japanese. And it should also come with a with a small extra book uh, for illustrations. So yeah, I hope it was worth it. There are like, you can get the regular comic just uh, as a single. And yeah, this is like the special version with the illustration. So I already did buy in the past uh, some kind of comic anthology. It was not that great. It were like different artists, some were quite okay-ish and some were not so okay-ish so yeah i hope this uh this comic has better art or artists i don't know if it's just one if it's just one artist it looks like it is okay okay it could get a little bit spicy but yeah i guess it's only one artist judging from the art style at least this is what I see, and yeah, it's not big. It has more of a of a regular manga size when I compare it like to my to my hand. And the bigger book is the actual special illustration with the anise made and soda. So let's take a quick look into that. Okay. What was her name? I don't remember it. It was a very weird name. H2O, something like this. Okay, more, we get more soda. Oh, but the reflection is not as good for showing. Oh yeah, best girl, Anis. I'm really hyped for her uh, swimsuit version. We should get her at the end of the month again. So, and since I, I haven't played Nikki last year, I, I'm finally able to to catch her but yeah not to be honest it's not that great okay we get another anise i maybe it is great but yeah from the variety of characters we don't get like any marianne or moderna and yeah i don't know if, if don't really think that it's that exciting it's a very small booklet let me know in the comments if you think this this is worth it i think it they could do better and yeah maybe at some point in the future we will get like an actual art book with a lot of pages i would love that <coughs> but yeah let's take a look and i have to refocus and yeah I I don't have a play mat this time since I expect to make quite a quite a mess with these packs. I I never opened uh, wafer packs in the past, so yeah. I think when you open them, the the waffles are already like exposed. Yeah, but let's just try to make not that much of a mess and just pull out the card. The card is wrapped one more time so there's some extra protection try to zoom in again but yeah we've got privacy and okay the cards are small man they are so compared to like what is this to like a zx card and uh, this is the regular card size like pokemon or magic so the cards are very small. I would say they are even, yeah, they, they are probably even smaller than Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh card next to me, so I cannot show you, but yeah, very tiny cards and it, they have this metallic look. Maybe if you have, if you have seen my, my previous Nikki unboxings of the, metallic cards from there was another release from bandai these are also from bandai by the way but uh, oh we have two types of packages nice 
But yeah, the all the the cards also from Alganon. Alganon is another oh is the other company that's producing like Nikki merch or the metallic cards. They also they always go with these um, metal cold foil look. But I I mean they do it well. Of course these are more they are not really like cards compared to to Pokemon or Magic. They are not are not from cardboard. They are plastic. This is a cute artwork that I haven't seen before. It was probably some kind of event that I have missed. Yeah, with Ludmilla Winter Owner. I don't know, maybe you have to to play some event or some kind of like extra side story to unlock this picture. I I see it for the first time. Oh, we get Dorothy. We get a pilgrim. And it has a different kind of foiling, so maybe there is like some kind of rarity to the wafers. As I said, these are like the first wafers I, I open in my life, so I I have actually no experience if uh, there are like pull ratios or if some cards are rarer than others. So if, if you have opened some wafers in the past, or maybe especially like uh, Niki wafers, like the first volume I did also miss. So yeah, no idea if there are like some rarer cards. I just hope, <laughs> man, I, I was quite unlucky with my Algonon metallic cards. I, I did open two boxes, one in a regular video and the other ones in a live stream. And I actually was able to pull the same uh, guaranteed high hits. Like there is one out of five or one out of seven, I don't remember. But uh, one out of five high hit guaranteed per box. So you need to buy at least like five boxes and hope for not getting duplicates to be able to complete your your set. And I, I pulled from my two boxes and in both of them, I pulled the same high hit. And I didn't pull the swimsuit unease, so I cried myself to sleep. Uh, very, very unlucky. But that's, that's a cute artwork. Rupee Winter Shopper and An -Mirac Miracle Fairy. I like that they included the, the name in English. I really like that, and yeah, quality-wise, it looks fine. Like with the with the Algonon metallic cards, there were some issues with the reprint of Volume One. At least I experienced some some scratches on the back of the metallic card, so I didn't saw any in Volume Two. So maybe it was like a an error of the reprint. But yeah, this is it's a bit dark can see the background only when I tilt the card. But yes, Soda. And uh, the other characters I cannot remember the names of. Ade and Kokoa. That's a, that's a cute artwork. I would have liked like more... Yeah, more artwork like this in the, in the art book, to be honest, or in the illustration book. Maybe they should like make... They do have some uh, some great art for wallpapers. They they share it like on Facebook or on Twitter. Uh, yeah, maybe they should just print like a very high quality book with all the the nice illustrations for the wallpapers. Fenty. But so far we had only the the Dorothy with the special foiling. And two of the two of the special illustrations, Mihara, yeah, my my favorite dummy mommy. Okay, and there is she's like okay, this sh the the basic pose, uh, the standing or standing squatting and shooting pose. I, I just hope there is an, an Anis in this set. I actually haven't checked the the card list or card gallery. Maxwell. Maybe she was in set number 
one and they decided to not reprint another Anis, but it should make sense to include maybe her okay to include her swimsuit version in this one. We get Modernia, that's nice. And yeah, she also has the special um shatter foiling. Oh very nice. Yeah, of course, like the artworks, they they are a little bit like boring at some point. At least if you have watched like all of my card openings, I mean they they do use the the basic standing pose or like uh, show off the character. So there isn't like a lot of variation, to be honest. I I hope for the okay, Scarlet or like. What was her name in, in uh, Gurren? Yeah, it's called Gurren in Japan, but Scarlet in English. But yeah, I hope for the for the release of Wise Schwartz Nikki, we will get some more special artworks, like more variations. Some, yeah, just something new. I I will probably not pick up another product with the characters, uh, basic artworks, to be honest. I don't know if Bandai will do more in the future, but for now, I, I feel like I have seen enough. But this is a, another nice artwork. <clears throat> if they would do more like this and not only like the... Where's my focus? The, the basic standing position of Tia and Naga. I was able to pull both of them, and yeah, they are pretty strong units. Oh, yes! Super funny, I just, two days ago, I was uh, trying to get the swimsuit version of Neon, <clears throat> and for some reason, <clears throat> the game didn't want to give me Neon. Instead, was like, oh, here, you, you need Red Hood? <laughs> Take her. Really funny. Oh, there. Yeah. Probably with Modernia, she's my my favorite pull so far from the box. Let me know what do you think about these cards. Maybe if you, especially if you have watched my other videos, or maybe go and watch them after you have finished this. Uh, let me know what do you think. Like compared, compare all these products, all these cards. Which was your your favorite release? I mean, at least you. <laughs> You get one card and some uh, sugar in this one. So since I I spent all my money on Nikkei cards and other cardboard, I at least now I have finally something to eat for the next two days. So this is a win. Okay, we end up with Noir. That's nice. Uh, we didn't pull Plank, I guess. And no, am I cursed? Like Anis is my my favorite character. And for some reason, I will just never pull her, like, even in the basic version. Not that I want, like, a high rarity pull. Yeah, I don't know. I feel cursed. Maybe you, you feel with me. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, for more unboxings, check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye.